Well, Mike, what an excellent point today. Yeah, great. Really pleased with that because um, that wasn't so much about coaching and shape and sliding and screening, which is the stuff that we've been working on in training. That was about heart and wanting to die for the club and put your body on the line. Uh, we just had a little look there at some stats as well. The boys have run, some of them have run a mile or two more than they did last week as well. So um, pleasing um, as a coach, but you know, if you're if you're one of the fans. Um, you know, I think you've got to recognise what, what a huge amount of effort all those lads have put on uh, in today. So, yeah, really pleased with that. Pleased. What else pleased you about the performance today? Um, I can tell you about a few things that didn't please me, to be honest, but I'll, uh, I'll leave that for another week. But um, I just thought that at times tr they are trying to do what we want them to do. Um, and some of the patterns you can see coming out is, is going to take about six or seven weeks when we're in possession of the ball and what we expect the lads to do in positional play when they're starting with the ball in certain areas. So that, that was pleasing. Um, but overall, just you know, the, the willingness of everybody's bought into us so far. And um, I think it will it'll show dividends because they're a good team today as well. You know, you're not sort of second top for, for no reason. So it just it bodes well for the next game and the next few games. And apart from the fans who went to Dulwich last weekend, most people would have seen you play today for the first time. So what can they expect from you as far as your style is concerned? Um, I would like for us to be a bit better on the ball, if I'm brutally honest. Uh, we, we're a bit more possession based, or we should be. Um, we like to play it from the back. Um, I, don't, I don't think Will's kicking was great today, so uh, that sort of let us down a little bit. But he's, he's got to uh, realise what we're all about and um, he is trying to do what we want him to do. I thought last week at uh, Dulwich he was great. So it's, it's going to be a little bit up and down sometimes. As long as it doesn't cost us uh, too many games towards the end of the season, then you know, I'm, I'm going to bear with him. I think to be fair though to Will, he made some really good saves yeah, today. Did. I know haven't hit the crossbar, they might feel a bit hard done by, but you've got the, you've got the clean sheet today and they've not been, well, they've not, not been too many of those in recent weeks around here. Yeah, that's right. And all, all we're going to do, we're going to set up, like I said when I first took over a couple of weeks ago, we're going to set up so we're hard to beat. And then, like we did, we, we were 4-5-1 to begin with and in the last 25 minutes uh, we were 4-4-2. And we were trying to win the game um, against, you know, top of the league teams. It might have to be like that. We don't want to get relegated. Um, you know, I said we don't want any of those players, any of the fans, supporters, board, chairman. We don't want people being tarnished with being relegated because it is tough if you go down. So we're just we're just throwing everything at it that we know that we can do. And uh, I believe we've got a good team. We need a couple of additions, and hopefully um, missed out on one this week but uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a couple in for next week. I'll come back on to the potential new signings in a second, but two games in, a couple of weeks with the lads, I keep hearing the fans say, we're too good to go down. There's a lot of potential there. And you must see that, because I know you saw a game over Christmas against an informed Chelmsford side, which Chippen and won. You saw them last week, clearly you've seen them today. It shows what can be achieved here, I think. Yeah, I would agree, but I, nobody's too good to go down uh, because you know they are good players, but they, they need to know a little bit better when we haven't got the ball as well, what we expect of, of certain players in certain positions. So um, I remember years and years ago, I don't know whether the uh, listeners are going to quite get this but Nottingham Forest you know apparently in the 80s managed by Brian Clough were too good to go down and they went down and they've never come back up and uh, that's that's what scares me you know I just uh, my life is ruled by uh, being scared into not going down so I'm going to try everything we can possibly do and I believe that uh, the players and the board and the chairman is, is back me 100% at the moment so so that's uh, a good start for me. And back on to potential new signings. I mean, only three subs plus a goalkeeping sub today. I know Nat Jarvis, I think, was injured or ill today. Uh, how keen are you? Because clearly you are down to the bare bones now. Yeah, I said uh, the other day in the radio interview I'd, I'd love Jar Jarvo to start. Um, if he'd have been fit, he would have started last week. But he's just got this tweaky on string. He trained on Thursday. Um, he, he trained really well. We thought we were going to possibly you know, play him at least 60 minutes today. But um, he, kept, he phoned up Charlotte on Friday saying it was sore. So um, we've got five centre forwards. Um, I don't think they score enough goals, but that might not necessarily be their fault alone. It might be because we're not creating a lot. We did last week at Dulwich create uh, quite a few chances, especially in the first half. 
Um, and today we only had a couple of chances really that I call proper chances. Could have won it at the end with, with Luke Hopper. Um, but I, I just think we need creative players. We need a couple of good wingers that can get the ball in for us and maybe an attacking or a creative um, number 10, basically. Busy week for phone calls then. Thanks yeah. for your time today. Cheers. Thank you.